this is our main goal as investors. Guys, as investors, we want to generate some sort of return. So we need to generate market returns that are outpacing inflation, outpacing the rising costs, right? So we see all these different things around us that are getting expensive. So for example, in the last year, we saw used cars, they went up incredibly high in price, some maybe 30, 40% increase in price. So imagine trying to buy a used car and maybe a couple years ago, it was maybe $10,000, now it's worth maybe 13 or 14. So we see a pretty big jump when it comes to the rising costs around us. So as investors, we must be sharper than ever when allocating our capital. And it is very, very, very important that we do not realize many losses. Now, as an investor, it's impossible to avoid all losses. However, that should always be our first priority. We wanna avoid losses and make sure that the winning investments cover any losses that we made plus a profit on top of that. We wanna generate returns without losing money. That's what it comes down to. But the thing is that in order to generate money, we have to take on some sort of risk. So if you think about risk, really all it is is kind of an exchange for money. So if you're working a nine to five job, you're exchanging your time for money. They have a subscription of you on an hourly basis, right? And that's good and that's fine, but I think that there's a better way. So let's take a look at what else we can exchange for money. Well, if we don't have money to invest, we can exchange our own efforts, right? Sweat equity. So if we wanna put in the work, we can partner up with an investor, somebody who has the money, and we can put in our work to partner up with them on a deal or some sort of project and actually perform all the duties, perform all that work, put together the deal, facilitate everything, make sure everything works as planned and get equity in that deal. It might not be a huge chunk, but a lot of times you can negotiate a pretty good profit split when it comes to performing all those duties. I know for me personally, I don't like to do the operations of my investment. I don't like to handle all that. I'm very, very focused on passive income. now on the way to my passive income journey, I've had some deals where I had to put in a lot of sweat equity because maybe I didn't have the capital to invest in that specific thing. So I put in my own work, my own sweat equity to make this deal happen. And then an investor came along and they partnered up with me. They provided the capital and did nothing while I didn't provide any capital, but I put in the work. So together we worked great as a team. And so because I put in my own sweat equity, I made sure that the deal happened, right? I facilitated everything. I attended all the meetings. I made sure that everything is working out as planned. And for that, I got a cut of the deal, right? And so that allowed me to build up that capital. So then I could flip over to the investor side and purely invest money, right? So instead of investing my time, I'm now investing money because these are all valuable resources, right? If you can find somebody that you can partner up with as an investor, they invest their capital, you invest your time. Boom, that's a perfect partnership right there. There are always people who are willing to put in their time. Now, whether you believe in their skill set or not, right? As an investor, that's a whole different question. As a, an investor who invests their capital, you have to believe in that person's ability to execute. One thing that I've learned in my investment journey is that there are so many ideas. Everybody has an idea, but ideas aren't really worth much without execution. It really just means that, hey, you can have all the ideas in the world, but if you never do anything with them, you're not going to make money. It's never going to amount to anything unless you actually execute behind those ideas and you perform what that idea is and you manifest it, you make it a reality. If you make it a reality, man, it could be worth something. So even if you think back to maybe Amazon, super easy example, Jeff Bezos had the idea for Amazon, but if he did nothing with it, would it be a trillion dollar idea? No, not really. I wouldn't say so. I think that we have so many million dollar, billion dollar ideas, but they're not worth that truly until you execute on them. So he executed on it. He built it to be a trillion dollar company. He's put in the work. He's put in that sweat equity and the capital behind it, and he's built it up to be what it is today. So back to our risk. We talked about how we can trade our hours for money, right? So that's working an hourly job. We can also trade our time in a business partnership right? So if we have an investor, we're investing time, they're investing capital, boom, there we go. We're a team, we both make money. Now we can graduate 
to be on the capital side. I think it all starts with the nine to five or the salary job. We start making some money there. We start being able to sustain ourselves a little bit. We can then move on to the sweat equity part of it, which I think is a natural part of the process. I think it's a pretty valuable experience to go through that sweat equity side of it where you invest your time and then we graduate to be the capital investor. So we're investing capital and somebody else is putting in their time into these deals. So we have all these different opportunities that we want to be a part of, but we don't have time to do all of them. So why not just split the profits with somebody that's going to operate everything for us? Right. So in my investment portfolio, I have e-commerce stores. I have oil wells. I have um, exotic car rentals. We have so many different things that we're doing. But do I do the operations in all of them? No, I don't have time to do that. Somebody else is putting in their time to operate everything, to manage it all, make sure that it's all working and they're getting a cut of the profits because they're doing that. I'm investing capital, they're investing time. We make a great team. And so the ultimate level that you wanna to get to is to be that capital investor because now, back to my point about risk, we're trading risk for gains, right? For profits. So now it's just a matter of, okay, well, if I wanna make this much money, that's all I have to risk. I could just risk a little bit. But if I wanna make this much money, I'm gonna to have to risk more because it's usually pretty proportional. So we wanna look at how much we're risking, how much we're making, does the risk to reward ratio make sense? It always has to be a positive ratio, right? So at least a one to one. So if I'm risking $10,000, I need to gain at least $10,000 or more. I would prefer to invest into something where I'm risking 10,000 and I stand to gain 20,000 or 30,000 or 50,000. That's a much better deal for me because if I'm risking 10 to make 50 and I put together four or five deals like that and only half of them work out, I'm still very profitable, right? So then it just comes to managing your risk correctly. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next video.